hi and thanks for coming back to my to visit my channel my name is victoria and i want to talk about my experience with pouring using apple barrels farmhouse edition this is the farmhouse edition colors i've used were caribbean white and emerald blue all of these products can actually be purchased at your local markets, any hobby shops, any special stores like Walmart. Um, you can find them in any website. You can go to their original website. I'm not sure if you can see it here, but it's plaid. Platonline.com, Apple Barrel, slash Apple Barrel. There's tutorials, there's lots of different options for paints and sizes, and everything you need, including tools for painting. This is my first time, and as you can tell, <laughs> I had quite an experience. I hope that you can bear with me. The one website on YouTube that I used for inspiration to learn about pouring was Plaid, which was um, released on August 28, 2019 by Kira and Jesse. And their title is Painting Pouring with Apple Barrel Pouring Medium. So I encourage you to go ahead and check out that channel. It's very informative, lots of great ideas and, and know-how, so she was very thorough. A lot of fun watching the video. Okay, so after I watched her video, I got inspired. I took out these three colors, and then I realized I forgot something. In her video, she said, use a medium pour. It's specifically designed to make the paint um, translucent enough, because this is too thick when it's in the bottle, translucent enough so that you are able to move around on the board, but that it doesn't help bleed too much the colors together, and that you can see the transition from the layering of how you're going to pour. There's two types of methods. I encourage you to watch her video so you can learn the two types of method. The one I used is called Dirty Pour, and I have to tell you the result was phenomenal. So. How did I get over the hump of not having the poor medium? I took school glue, not even Elmer's. This is from Homati, Homatai, I think it's called, and it's made in China. And I went ahead and did like five tablespoons worth with teaspoons, four teaspoons of water, mixed it really well. The consistency of glue is not kind of what you want. You want it to be, you want it to be a watery kind, but not so watery that when you add your paint, your paint gets watered. Because you do want the consistency of your paint to be thick enough, but loose enough at the same time. So you're gonna have to do trial and error. I did, and I'm glad I did because I discovered how this was going to dry, what it's gonna look like more or less, and what I was going to look for. These little specks that you're seeing, <laughs> that's actually glitter that landed on this, so it's not part of the design um, for future. Kind of came, ooh, that looks beautiful. <laughs> um, I just put it on this plastic just to see what it was going to look like, and I did like the way this came out. However, let me show you. what it really looks like. I'm not sure if I like the white background versus the black back background, um, but either way, I fell in love. I just, I fell in love. This is the most beautiful detail I have ever done in pouring. I wanna show you something. This is why I say it's something that I never came up with before. 
I tried my very first one on a tracing pad, or rather a regular drawing pad. And as you can tell, this paper is not designed at all to help to hold down um, any type of paint. But I tried it anyway. I wanted to see kind of like an idea. The first time I applied my first three colors, as you can tell, see, my first three colors, or I think this is four colors actually, I, I was trying to swirl it and it, I was like, ooh, why is this not moving at all? It wasn't, it was so thick, it was just like a blob. So then, I know this sounds funny, but this cracker landed on it and I thought for sure I ruined my whole project. But when I lifted it up, this came out. And I was like, oh. So I plopped it again, <laughs> moved it around, and this happened. That's why I got the result in the background. Um, I do like the way that this turned out as, as far as the stamping. I'm going to call it stamp because this landed on it. And it kind of swirled it and changed it for me. Not what I had in mind. I wanted something like this. <laughs> So for future reference, I know what to do. I always like to try out something like in a kind of cheat sheet spot, something that's not canvas, something that I'm not going to permanently do. Um, sorry for the moving around of the camera. It's just that this worked a lot better. So I got an idea, got the inspiration from the YouTube channel, and then I had to do it. And like I said, I fell in love with this. I am not at all disappointed by the result. It came out really pretty. Again, these little spots that you're seeing are glitter that I was playing on another project. For some reason, they just landed on my, I still got glitter on me, I guess. Anyway, it's not gonna be part of the design. And the other thing I don't have is a sealer. So the only thing I can use is this. It's not made at all for acrylic paintings, but you know what? It does such a beautiful job at sealing the paint that I have had other projects where I wiped down my product after using that and nothing, nothing, no color, nothing gets transferred. The only thing I have to remember is to keep this dried two or three days before applying this product because once this is on it seals the paint i've had an experience so i'm going to share it with you where one my product of the acrylic was way too thick and two i didn't let it dry enough i thought two days was good enough but it was so thick and i did not realize if i would have touched it and see that it still had a, like air bubbles i would have never sealed it but then i did seal it and I thought for a while it was great and I went to wipe it down to see how that worked and that's when I discovered that chunks <laughs> of my paint was coming right off. I was like, no! So learning experience. Anyway, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I hope that my experience and this project inspires you to do your own thing and see where it takes you. I would love to see this exact same example maybe on a beautiful plate. Oh, that would be beautiful. Uh, maybe on, on your next home decor with this idea, phenomenal. Now, oh yes, that's another thing. You can tape your stuff down. I tape this section because I wanted to do something cool and different. And as you can tell by this painting, the way it's starting, this is going to be a tunnel scene and that's not the moon, that's the tunnel. <laughs> so all this, I'm gonna have to go ahead and become creative and show my handy work. But as you can tell, this guy right here is the main object. <laughs> this is my focal point. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my video, go ahead and hit a like. Um, give me a comment, post something so that I can get future ideas and post them for you. If you have questions, I would love to answer your questions. And I want you to get inspired. So please let me know what you came up with. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.